Hi, welcome to RCSP Florida. Today I'm at Circle B Bar Reserve again with the A7R4 and FE 200 to 600 millimeter G lens. Let's go see what we can find. Look at the bright spot next to its eye on this tri-colored heron. That's the reflection from his eye caused by the sun or it's possible the sunlight is going through the surface of his eye and lighting up that spot on his upper beak like a magnifying glass. Here's the same bird from another angle and you can see there is no bright spot. I do not know what this plant is called. It has a leaf like a fern, but I could not find anything that looked exactly like this leaf. If you know what it is, tell me in the comments. This is a green slider turtle coming up for air. It took me a while to realize that this bird was an immature boat-tailed grackle. I first thought it was a thrasher, but not with those black eyes. A tricolored heron sporting its white tail feathers. This is a primrose willow flower. What a magnificent great blue heron this is. He is absolutely beautiful, don't you think? I certainly do. The live oak trees at Circle B are magnificent. It never fails to amaze me at the uh fern growing on these trees. This is a resurrection fern. Uh, when it's dry weather, it uh, shrivels up and you would think it was dead, but when you've had as much rain as we've had lately, it, uh, it looks real healthy, so it's really happy. I'm on a windmill whisper. Headed down to the windmill, as I usually do. This is the normal path that I take. Right now, two of uh, the trails are closed. Uh, good portion of Alligator Alley is closed and also uh, Marsh Rabbit Run because of uh, alligator breeding season. So we won't be able to go down those today. So it leaves you really Windmill Whisper to Waiting Bird Way and then the Eagle's Roost and then the Heron Hideout. You can go the kind of the north side of the Alligator Alley but uh, it, uh, down past the lake it uh, becomes closed off because it's dangerous because it's alligator mating season. They do this pretty much every year. It would not be a trip to Circle B Bar Reserve without showing you the windmill. And there it is. This is the lake on the west side of Wading Bird Way. It's a really pretty area. And of course you can see there's the trail. I show these purple gallinules for quite some time because they are such a beautiful bird. If you don't like them for some reason, you can fast forward a bit. In all of these videos of wildlife, look for all the dragonflies to come roaring through the video. They were there by the hundreds and probably thousands.
This juvenile common gallinule is cute as he can be, and it is there with its sibling and mom, which you will see in a minute. When you see the baby making a sound, it really was weak. It wasn't that I did not record it, I could not even hear it. There is the sibling. I didn't see the male. I think this may be the male preening himself. Hard to tell. Here is another great blue heron, but not as pretty as the one you just saw. Now, for a couple of gators. This one turned and headed right for me, and I thought he might come ashore, but he stopped and just stared at me. His buddy was swimming around in the same lake a little further down the trail. The water you hear is from one of the culverts that go under the trail and keep the water equalized on both sides of the berm road. The snowy egret is waiting for a fish to come through the culvert so it can snag it. Any running water enters water birds because the fishing is easy. As my regular subscribers know, I love this type of grass, but it's hard to photograph and show how beautiful it really is in the right sunlight. It is really hot and the birds are suffering as well. This great blue heron is actually panting like a dog to keep cool. You would think he would just take a dip in the cool water, but with this many gators around, it would be dangerous. This is kind of the intersection. Uh, if you go straight off to the left there, it'll take you down to uh, Fort Fraser. This is the way we came up. That's Wading Bird Way. And if we turn around here and look that direction and kind of walk back this way around the curve a little bit, I just came from down there a ways. This is Eagle's Roost. As you can see, there's not much shade, uh, except if you want to get off the trail, you can find some. But uh, it's a hot day today, so I think I'm headed back to the car, but got about a mile and a half to go. Let's talk to you later. Well, it'll take you with me a ways down waiting this end of, which is the south end of Wading Bird Way.
I'm using a new action camera today. I was using the Hero 7 Black, which I was happy with as far as the video quality goes and everything else, but I got one of the ones that you almost, is impossible to get the battery out of the compartment. I actually pulled the tab off of two brand new GoPro batteries trying to get them out. I actually went in and removed the serial number label even though it's very thin to see if that made any difference. It didn't. So I bought some aftermarket ones that had a little bit tougher tab on them and even they wouldn't work. Especially like today when you're out here and it's you're hot and you're sweaty and your hands were kind of You know got sweat on them Even if you kind of wipe them off you could not get it out So if the battery ran dead, I was kind of screwed <laughs> I, uh, I was done Because uh, I couldn't get the battery out without a pair of pliers and I didn't want to carry a pair of pliers around with me all the time trying to do that So I ended up buying the DJ Osmo action camera Ah, <sighs> So I don't know had to do something and uh, was looking at the Hero 9, but I get all kinds of reviews about the Hero 9 saying it's not reliable. And I don't want to be out here taking this, these videos and get back and have nothing. <laughs> uh, so I decided to look at a lot of reviews and a lot of people said, actually, this camera is pretty close to the Hero 9. Doesn't have some all the features, but I don't need all those features. So I want reliability and a halfway good, you know, a good picture. So we'll see what this all looks like. This is the first trip out for it. Let me walk to the other end of this thing and I'll get back to you in a little while. Well, I'm sitting down in the shelter that's right by basically Wading Bird Way and Marsh Rabbit Run. Been here for years, give you a little bit of shade and a bench to sit out on. I'm cooling me off and also cooling the A7R4 off. Uh, this is the second time that I've been out in the sun quite a bit with it. And, and it's not like the Canon, but uh, it did overheat. It uh, shut down, but I got out here and turned it on probably about, I don't know, I think it was around 8.15, and it didn't die until 10.40. So, you know, over two hours in the hot sun, you know, 90 degree temperatures, high humidity, and uh, I know I'm dragging and I'm assuming it is too. So I turned it off and I've been sitting here in the shade for about, uh, I guess I've been here for about maybe, 10 minutes I'm gonna stay for about another five minutes and then I'm gonna head on back uh, at least get back to some more shade I've got about halfway down to is where this shelter is about halfway down Wading Bird Way and it's just a good place to cool off and rest maybe have a snack unfortunately I didn't bring a snack and uh, I've got a rule that I bought two I brought two bottles of water with me and uh, the rule is if I, when I run out of the first bottle, I head back because I'm gonna need the second bottle to get back. So I ran out of the first one about the end of, uh, about part way down uh, Eagle's Roost. So drank that up and immediately headed back this way. And like I say, I'm hitting here, sitting here cooling off for a while, but uh, I'll be back on the road here in a minute uh, and I'll get back with you in a little bit. Wow, that's a long walk back <laughs> in this kind of heat. So luckily I found a bench to uh, kind of sit down and take a little bit of break. I'm only about a hundred yards from the car, but I was really needing water. But I didn't want to stop and get water until I actually got someplace where it was in the shade. And I'm kind of rest here for a couple of minutes, cool off a little bit. Take my hat off because it really, my head gets really hot with that on there. And that's what I want to try and keep cool. Uh, I've already got a little tinge of a headache, but, uh, and that's kind of from the sun and all, but uh, I'm good. I just drank a bunch of water, so, and I'll be back in a cool car here in about uh, maybe five or 10 minutes. So I'm gonna end this video here. I wanna thank you for coming along with me. Obviously, uh, this is one of my favorite spots. Uh, it's a more favorite spot when all the trails are open. So anyway, I'm gonna kind of close this out and uh, go back to the car, get some something really cold to drink because what I had that was cold was no longer cold. <laughs> so obviously, come, thanks for coming along with me at uh, this beautiful, beautiful spot. And uh, if you haven't been here before, try coming to Circle B Bar Reserve. It's a beautiful spot, lots of wildlife, but bring plenty of water. Had Even though with all the water we've had, I had no mosquitoes today. Uh, there are areas that do have mosquitoes, but most of the trails do not. 
but I would bring it with you just in case, but after all the rain we've had and water standing everywhere, I haven't seen the first mosquito so far. Uh, of course, they'll eat me up before I get back to the car. <laughs> so you guys take care. Thanks for coming along, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.